Now the second page is a bit more involved. You're given a scenario and what you're going to do is create an equation based on that scenario and then answer a question using your equation that you just made. So the first scenario is the first year of a charity walk had an attendance of 500. So the first year initial value is going to be 500. We know that this is the equation we're going to use. So y equals 500 times, I don't know what my decay factor is yet. The attendance decreases each year by 5%. So it's getting smaller, it's decaying. And we know to find the decay factor, I'm going to have to take 100 minus 5%. 100% minus 5% means that 95% is remaining. Okay. We're going to have to convert this into a decimal. So we know to do that. Percent to decimals divided by 100. So this is going to be my decay factor, 0 0.95. And then my favorite variable to use is x. This is your equation. So to recap, we found the initial value. We found the decay factor by taking 100% and subtracting out the rate of decay. And then we converted that percent to a decimal to get it. How many people will attend the 10th year? We know that 10 years is time. We know that X is time. So I take out X, I put in 10. And if I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, this is going to be 299 people. Let's do another one together. Okay, the population of a small town is 2,600. So that's going to be my starting point. The population decreases each year by 2%. So I've got 100 and I'm subtracting out 2% to get 98% remaining. That's going to be my decay factor. Making that into a decimal, we get 0 0.98 to the X. So we've got our equation now. What will the population be after 10 years? So once again, I'm going to take out X and put in 10 because they're telling me that X is 10. And if I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, this is 2,124 people.